Hello and welcome to episode 10 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on us rescuing more Martians and our first boss fight. So, the first thing I want to mention is these are not spiders apparently, they are crabs. So Lady Shelley, you are fine to watch. Um, it's this episode starting with a bit of combat, so oh, that's enough guns. I always overdo it. There we go. Oh, one more. So apparently they're crabs. They're dark crabs. So if you have a phobia with spiders, don't worry. There are no spiders here. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show, mention, was the scanner app update. Remember we got that in the last episode. It will allow us to find, as you can see, coal, gold and aluminium. Now that's very useful because when we get back to the Martian camp, you will see that there is gold there. So useful that we can scan for it now. Let's get these guns back. And then we can continue. Right, let's grab this meat. Always useful to get more money. It is funny having meat as uh, the currency because not only is it food, it's also, well, money. Right, okay, so down here we must proceed. And yes, there is a nasty boss mob. So make sure, please make sure you save before you venture down here. Because if the people you're trying to rescue get killed, it will be, the quest will be messed up. Okay, so we have another crab. Let's put down, let's see if I can show you the cannon. So, got to do this quick of course before it aggroes and let's run back this way hopefully they're not going to Charlotte's not going to attack oh she is oh. I was hoping to be able to show you this gun but it's not to be It has quite a slow, uh, the turret uh, fires quite slowly, I notice, with it. But when it does fire, it is good. Holy smoking cow, they're every... Right, now Nan's going to rush in to try and rescue them. As soon as he does that, this big monster here is going to attack them. And if it gets to them, it will kill them, and then your mission is failed. So quick as you can, get your guns put down, because that will distract it from attacking them. Now, if Nan didn't rush in, I could have used the uh, artillery cannon. But because he did rush in like that, um, he didn't give me an option for time. Because, like I say, unless you get your sentry guns put down quickly so they can aggro that huge creature, it will just ki kill the Martians you're trying to rescue. So, bear that in mind. It does pack a punch, that uh, artillery cannon. Well, nice. I'm sure we will get a use for it eventually. Basically, it's uh, you can best use it where the creatures aren't aggressive, so you have time to place it and everything. You'll see. I'm sure I'll be able to demonstrate its use at some point. 
I want to demonstrate all the different cannons you can get. But there we are. It looks like I managed to rescue them without any deaths. That's cool. Just getting my guns back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, okay, so that's all done. Let's get up this dank, dark cavern. When we run up here to the rest of them, you'll see the quest triggers. I must consider doing these side quests at some point as well. They're starting to mount up. Still haven't got a clue though where this colon donta rhino wolf is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we go out here. Oh, to join looks them. like we all made it. Okay, let's talk to Nan. And see the crabs. I don't know. They weren't in the guidebook, that's for sure. I'm beginning to think that maybe the exploration committee was sleeping on the job when they were writing the wiki. It's funny, he says exploration and the wording says colonisation. <laughs> oh well, just a little thing. Right, let's carry on. Yeah, looks like it. A big thanks to you. Who am I being attacked? What am I being attacked by? Sure thing. Let's go. Good job, Pat. Okay, so the mission's to head back. Uh, I'm more interested to find... Oh, it's this little thing here. Oh, let's put down the gun. I don't want them attacking my Martians. Okay, so let's get that. Right, now with this heading back to the Martian camp, the good news is we can just teleport back. So let's do it. With some of the missions you can't, because it'll tell you that your followers will be not follow. Um, but with sometimes you can, so it's always worth trying. Most beneficial if you can, because it saves a long old haul. And there you are, we're back at the Martian camp. The first thing I want to do, of course, is sleep, because it's getting dark. And that's not good for when you want to record a video. Apparently Maria's got two moons, but I only ever see one. Okay, it's still dark, so gonna sleep for a little longer. Let's say four hours. Just want it to stop being so dark out. There we go, much better. Now we can see what we're doing. Okay, the first thing I want to show you, of course, is the, remember our scanner was upgraded, so let's do a scan. I'll tell you now, there's gold, silver and iron here. So we'll go to the phone and scan. And let's first just show, oops, let's just first show you the gold. There'd be gold in them hills. And there you go, nice huge chunk of gold.
Now imagine how much that's going to sell to the shops for. So club fantastic because you'll be able to mine up a load of that and then you'll be rich. You'll be millionaires. Right okay but I mentioned there's also silver and iron so if I select both of them and scan you see you've got your iron, silver and gold. Ton of gold here but then there's more iron back uh, in the other areas. Okay so there we are that's all the resources. Right let's continue this quest because at the moment it's saying head back to the Martian camp. You all made it back! I'm so glad I was expecting the worst. Check out who's here! And here is Alfonso Hook. They seem to have a lot of admiration for him. Alfonso? Look, our stats never saw a sign of them or the aliens. It's not some conspiracy. We had only three probes sent to this planet before the Intersolar Space Commission approved the colony mission. For the Centauri and Iridian missions, they required 12 probes each. It even surprised us. I guess I do make it sound like a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's can see what else he's got to I'll say. I'll go with Alfonso to the settlement. I agree with him that we Martians and the Earthlings need to be separated for now. If we all live together, there'll be too much tension from the incident. Even though I have a hard time trusting any Earthling, I still do believe that if we want to succeed on this planet, we need to work together. Eventually. Yeah, well, this Earthling's the one who saved most of your compatriots, so that's really rich. Okay, if we check the shop, I believe he's just got some food, so nothing fussing over, not worth uh, getting any of that. Right, okay, so now you can see we've got two people to talk to, Nan and Alfonso. If we look at the map, you'll see we haven't got no other locations yet opened up. So let's first talk to Alfonso and see what he's got to say. He's the commander. You're welcome. So he wants to keep us all separated, and that's probably a good idea. Our survival chances went up completely as soon as he said that. Okay, now to trigger the quest, we click that, but first, of course, we check the shop. Always get in the habit of checking the shop. And let's have a look, what's he got? So we can see now we can upgrade our armor to iron more importantly we can learn the scripts to it but he also has steel armor so that's definitely the way to go so i'll need to learn the steel scripts but i shan't yet because the chances are someone to give me them anyway and here we have we can make a diamond sword so diamond comes into play as well and we can do a diamond shield but what really interests me is the laser now I'm not sure how good the lasers are but you know what I'm gonna buy one it's probably gonna cost me a lot uh, not too bad so I'm gonna equip all my followers now with the lasers but it said it needed a battery which as luck would have it I have a battery pack So, ammunition wise, I'm not sure whether this needs filling up. I've never used a laser to be honest with you. Let's go to one of my followers 
and test it out with them. So good, we can equip a battery on them. And what weapon have they got? Hmm. Right, they've got the gun, so it wasn't them that I wanted to give it to. They've got a gun and yet their sword's equipped. What manner of crime would make them want to do that? Let's give them the gun back. Okay, let's go to my second follower. Yep, let's change the bow over and give him a laser weapon. For some reason it won't let me pick it up. Have I... Hmm. I bet it's because I'm in this shop. Let's cancel that, close that. Go back into his adventure inventory. Now I should be able to give him the laser gun. Yeah, cool. And the battery. There we go. Looking good. Of course, I need to upgrade their armors as well. I've not done that as yet. They're still on copper or bronze. So that's my next objective that I must do. Anyway, let's we can see how the laser does. So there we go. What you want to do, so you want to go mining the gold that's around here. And once you've got a chunk of gold mined up, then keep coming back and buying the laser guns till everyone's out equipped with them. What I'm going to do is let's sell some marble. So we should be able to sell 800 to him. Get our money back. There we go, that's cool. And you can see here that he has a missile launcher. <laughs> now, as you can well imagine, this you have to do four tiles underneath it like I showed you in the last episode. And then you can place the missile launcher. Oh, go on then, I'm going to buy one just for the heck of it so I can show you all. So, yeah, it'll fit there. Let's get ourselves a missile launcher. I must place down all these guns and show them in action. Be quite hilarious. Okay, and this time I'm going to sell a bit of iron. So I get six times back, so 500 should be fine. Bang, look at that, nearly all my money back. Cool. And I only had to sell uh, 600. Right, okay, so the rest of the upgrades I won't do yet. I'll do them later. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to waste uh, time. So if we talk to Afonso again, how did you get here? So now he's telling us that there's a, a Martian settlement the main settlement is northeast of here, and there's Governor Skyrunner there. Hmm, he's right there. Okay, so new mission, Earth Camp. By talking to Alfonso, what it has actually opened up is the pathway to the human camp. Um, it will also eventually show us the Martian camp up here somewhere, but for now, you see, by talking to him has triggered us being able to go to the Earth Camp. But we're not going to do that because we're going to talk to Nan now and see what he's because got Because my to say. pops ordered me to. Something about bringing honor to our family. In actuality, he just wanted me gone so I don't cause trouble for my older brother when he inherits the family company. I mean, I don't feel too bad about it. I get to go to a place where no one's been to before. The aliens are not helping, though. <laughs> I tend to agree with Nan on that. I was just about to ask you that. 
So that's how it went. Just fan freaking tastic. The whole planet probably knows we're here by now, and I can't think of a good ending for us. Imagine if some extraterrestrials went onto the solar system and shot up a few humans. Tiny nukes would be flying by now. So, if you say to him, to Nan, do you have anything else for me to do? Guess what? You will get another side quest. Not like I haven't got enough, isn't it? Wow. I really am going to have to start doing some of these. Anyway, what he's going to tell us to do is to get us get him the parts to make an engine Mark II. So, when we look down here, you can see now we need to come up with some iron and we need to come up with some steel. So I can make steel, I believe, so I can do a couple of these quests. Well, I can do that quest. For this one, I need fuel. And I need to mine some of that petroleum up in order to do that. So anyway, that's another side quest that you can get from Nan. But we're going to go on now to talk to him again to do the main quest. Or continue on one of them. So, if we look here... So, what do we plan to do now? I'm going to inventory all the equipment we have and see if we can get something more modern going. I'm sure Alfonso will want my input on designing stuff to counter the aliens. Eventually, we'll have to cross over to the Newton continent. I didn't pay too much attention in prep classes, but I do remember that there being a wind belt between the continents. So, we'll need to build something that can survive that. Oh, hey, uh, if you have time, can you take me to Odessa? I want to talk this over with her. So there we are. That is now what we have to do. Take him, escort him to Odessa. Okay, I'm ready when you are. So, right, and... Uh, so, he's saying, basically, there's a river nearby. And we can use... Uh, we could build a boat. And he gives us a script, so how cool is that? We can now build a boat. But looking at this, um, where are we here? By the time we've run over here to the river, yeah, sure, we could ride it down, but you know what? It's going to take too long to build a boat. Be a nice thing to do, but too long for a little episode i mean i've probably halfway through now so i've only got 15 minutes left and i'm certainly not going to build a boat in that time so we're just going to run down there i will learn the scripts first though and bear in mind when you learn the scripts remember what scripts what parts they are because that tells you then for building for so in this case for building a boat you need to build a cockpit You need to build... Oh no, that's not one of them. I must get rid of the scripts I don't need. Uh, you must build a propeller. You must build a rudder. And a ship control. So they're the four components you'll need to build if you want to build a boat. Anyway, let's get the show on the road and get to Odysseus Camp. Okay, so the first thing I should do, of course, is eat. Get uh, back to full up, because then my stamina will last for longer. And I'm trying to eat all the loose foods up, so I've not got so much inventory. I've got lots of farming seeds. Anyway, I think the next smallest is this. So let's eat the cream core soup. Oh wow, that was good. Did you see how much food that filled up? Right, I'm full, so our stamina will last longer, so I can run further. Okay. Ah, right, so here's something that triggers when you start to go. Roll Olympus. Now... We're going to take them along. Why? Because they have an excellent shop, as you're going to see. Okay. So, 
there's Roll if we right click on her. Lots to talk about, but the one I want to show you is if we go to the shop, you can see that we can now make our own beds. So I'm going to buy that. Uh, sleeping bag, I'm not sure. I'll get the script for it, but I'm not sure. You know, I prefer just to use the bed, I think. And of course, she sell gliders. So at some point, we definitely have to check that out. And it's not expensive, so let's buy that. There we go. Right, I've got the stuff from her. Let's learn the scripts. Okay, where did it put the other script? And also, I want to keep all my guns in the first... All my guns in here there we go right so yeah we can do a glider at some point anyway let's get out this forest another side quest of course is I've got to find these red mushrooms I must get around to doing that as well I'll probably do that once I've finished um, recording this episode I must start catching up on some of these side quests in fact though I well the red mushroom one I won't show but some of the other side quests perhaps I should show especially when I can figure out what this creature is a uh, colon donta rhino wolf which I still haven't found to kill Here's a beautiful forest though. I must come here with me axe. Yeah, and I must build a boat at some point. I've never built a boat. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun riding down the rivers in the boat and maybe even a monorail at some point that would be so cool to travel around on Why, why has this roll got a question mark above her head? Let's just see if I talk to her. No, there is no quest thingies. Um, let's continue on. Else I risk wandering off on a tangent. So you can see the next episode is going to be us going to the Earth Camp.
Oh, there's the timer. Well, I'll just get us to this uh, point. Let's check the map. Yeah, we're very nearly there, so I might as well just get us there, and then I will finish the episode. I try my best not to jump any points in the storyline for the quest because I want people who are following this just in case you know if they get stuck or anything like that that they can see exactly the progression path with uh, doing the main quest so I don't want to miss skip any of it out okay so you remember this craft where the fire bears were previously Fortunately, we've taken them all out, so there's none here to harass us. Let's make sure they're all with me. They are. And if we walk around this side of the aircraft, we will see Adissa. And there we are. Okay, so let's say that's all. Let's bring the map up. And there's our Martian camp. Pujan camp. I'm wondering if that's it. So I think that's the new Martian camp. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed this episode on Planet Explorers. Goodbye.